All right, y'all, what is up? Um, we are pre-recording tonight because um, we have some errands to run in town. So this is gonna be just a quick video testing out some new tape from Waller Strong. It is um, a white tape. They sent it to us to test out and see how we like it. We haven't gotten a chance to really see the how do you say, um, resistance, resiliency, I don't even know the words right now, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build up a wall around this and put in a second layer and we'll see how well resin does not stick to this stuff. All right, it does not tear as easily as the orange tape. which tear, tears, it's not words, tears really well, super easy. Um, this tears off at like funky angle. Typically when we build walls like this, we use like an aluminum tape. I think we've used that frog tape before. See, he did it again. No good. When you build walls like this, you want to keep in mind um, that you want to keep your corners kind of sharp. So always pinch the sides. And you also want to keep in mind that you want it to be straight up from the base, not kind of curved inward at all. Or curved outward, like this is kind of like falling backwards a little bit, which is not ideal, but I'm not gonna fill this thing completely, so it's not that big of an issue. Also something I'm noticing with this tape is that it kind of did it again kind of bows with, uh, what's that, what's that tape, masking tape, I guess? You can kind of bend it and work it to move in the direction you want it to. What is it? What is it, a painter's tape? So, now we have our base. And I'm going to mix up my resin. Of course, I'm going to be using Stone Coat's Art Coat. It is my favorite resin for many reasons, among which include the well over an hour working time. I've worked it up to two hours before. Um, of course, That's that was- That's what she said. She can take him anywhere. Um, that's under ideal conditions, which would be like a dry 75-ish. Um, its UV resistance is top-notch. And what else can I say about this awesome resin? Um, its heat resistance is up to double boiling water, which is 500 degrees. Well, it's 260. So it goes up to like 500 degrees heat resistance. Um, it's chemical resistant, water resistant, life resistant. It's pretty amazeballs if I do say so myself. And it's really easy to work with. There's no smell. I don't get any like resin rash or like a bad reaction if it gets on my skin. Doesn't irritate my eyes at all. All amazing things. So, let's mix this concoction together. Um, typically, it only takes about three minutes for this to work into itself. See how right now it's kind of cloudy colored. Um, when it's fully 
integrate it into itself, it'll be super, super clear. And y'all, this stuff sets up glass finish style. I think I'm gonna use like blues and teals and turquoises and like silvers and whites for this top layer. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to leave the tape on the sides for, how long do you think be before we remove the sides to keep the depth? Um, it has to be like at least two hours, three hours. Yeah, or more. But that means getting up at like one in the morning to peel this back. So we're gonna we're gonna treat this as if we forgot to peel it off and what to do about it. So we'll be posting in the morning about how we found this piece and how easily or not easily the sides are removed. I'm using some of our brand new handy dandy stir sticks available on our website. Also, if you choose to try out Stone Coat's art code, please don't forget that you can use our code YALL, Y-A-L-L, -L, all capitals, no apostrophe, and that'll get you $30 off of your $80 order. Just make sure you have $80 in your shopping cart when you apply the code. Sorry about the racket. And it will take $30 off of your total, which is bananas for such an amazing resin. Absolutely bananas. All right, so we've got our resin. Let me get our cups, stir sticks. Let's get rolling with this. So I'm only gonna use a little bit of silver so I don't mix that much of it because typically any of your metallics are going to like really really take over. So minimal is key when using any kind of metallic like a gold or bronze or copper or silver or anything like that. You'll thank me later, trust me. So for this I'm using um, Mona Lisa's metallic metal powder in the shade silver. We tried it the other day and it worked pretty well, but I think we just didn't have enough of it mixed in to do anything spectacular. Keep in mind when working at home to start with about 10% pigment to 90% resin in order to not end up with like marshmallow fluff consistency. I'm going to put just a drop more in so that it kind of covers the dust from the powder that I just put in here so it doesn't kick up. If you guys are at any point um, irritated from powders or fumes or anything at all, don't hesitate to wear a respirator of some kind. Safety first. Sorry my phone keeps going off. We're supposed to be meeting people tonight. So I'm also using um, Caribbean Blue from Color Obsession. This is the tint, and it doesn't take much to give you a really nice shade. Typically, it comes with a dropper. I have lost mine, so I just poured too much in here, but that's fine. It's an amazing, amazing color, and... I'm gonna add just a little bit more clear to kind of bell down this tint that I just mixed up. What else do we have here? I'm also using Turquoise by Color Obsession. I'll have the tints back in stock, by the way. Um, estimated delivery from DHL said the 7th, so that is day after tomorrow. Hopefully that'll be the case. We will see. I'm 
I just love all turquoises. And I'm fairly sure that's Jeff's favorite color as well. Any turquoise. The next tint I'm using is Blue Topaz. I'm just going to put a couple drops in. kind of like a gray blue. It's very nice. Will you put my phone on mute, please? There's a switch on the side. Switch on the side. Left side. So you can pick it up tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow after six. Okay, will you, um, did you mute it? No. Left side. It's a switch. I see just two buttons. And a switch. No, there's no switch. Okay. How oh, is there a switch? It just is. Look. That's like a lever. I would think a switch would be like... Hmm. So I'm going to put clear down for the base because I want to create that separation between what was already down and what I'm about to put on here. So this will just create that definition, I suppose. Hopefully it'll be evident once this dries and I peel the side off. I'm just going to push this around to all the sides and make sure there's nothing that's dry on the base canvas. Um, also check out our video on sanding and prepping for a second layer. I'll add that, that into the, um, the description box and put a pop up so you guys can see how that happens. Just gently pushing and working the clear resin over to all the sides. You can do as thin, or, as thin a layer as you want to, but you really don't want to go any thicker than an inch and a half with, hmm, inch and a half or less, inch and a half and pushing it for a standard resin. Stone Coat has a casting resin now that's awesome for pouring up to three inches thick, which is completely bananas. If, if you've done any kind of casting or thick pouring or like, um, what's it called? Like river tables with resin. That is a lot of thickness for resin. It's amazing. So I'm adding a little bit of heat now to pop these bubbles and the heat's affecting this tape just a little bit. Hopefully it won't affect it too much since this, this is a product test. We'll, I'll let you guys know our thoughts on it. Real deal, no matter if we like it or not. So let's add our colors. This color is very similar to what we already had on there initially. What I really like about the tints is that they're transparent. So you can see what we already had on there on the first layer, which is fantastic in my book. That way you don't waste what you did on your first layer. Unless there's a part you want to cover up, then you should use a paste for sure, for sure. I 
and this white is from stone coat the key to using it successfully is that you need to make sure that your other colors go over this white if you push your colors now if you push the white over your colors then um, you're not going to get the same amazing cells that you would otherwise just a heads up I'm just pushing these around to create some movement. Yes, yes. B. It was that we didn't add enough. So because I have these walls up, I can move and manipulate and rotate around the resin that I have on here and not worry about any of it falling off. Um, these edges are starting to get droopy. So let's switch to a torch and see if it does any better. I'm going to add some white through this blue area so I can push it that way. Let's see what it does. Amazing things, not surprised. So maybe the best to use when you have, um, walls up is the torch that way you don't have to worry about heat hitting your edges i'm thinking at this point anyways i could be wrong i could change my mind but right now that's my thought process Do something with this side. Looks kind of dull. And when you have walls up like this, remember that anytime you add resin, it's going to push all of it to some extent because it has nowhere to go other than back into itself. Just keep that in mind. Lately I've been swiping a lot, but it's hard to do any kind of swipe when I have like no room to do it in. But let's, let's see if it'll work. and see how it shows up. Whoa. Made all of that silver just pop up. So we're gonna see how this works and we're gonna revisit it in the morning. So we'll do another video then so we can see how this turned out. I really like deep separations in my pieces. 
that are like ocean-esque. So I'm just adding these dark areas in. For two reasons, because I don't want to waste the resin and I like the deep areas in painting the darks. I think it gives the eye something to pay attention to. And anytime you add a color, make sure you put it with some heat so that the air bubbles don't give you problems later on. Because they will. I could say that I like it better than I did before, so that is a plus. So I'm gonna put this in our just free zone and we're gonna see how this ends up setting up. I guess I should give you guys a close up real quick. And then last night, we did this one. That turned out amazing. I can't even handle how well it domed down the edges. I wish you guys could see it. We're gonna do a true color video as well. There's a true color already on that. On YouTube? Yep. No, on uh, ATD. Ah. So if you're not already, join our poor people's group you'll be able to see all the um true color videos that we put up sometimes on youtube the colors don't really do the piece justice but it turns out better on youtube so Tune into there to check it out, join all of these things, and we'll see you guys, what is today, Wednesday? We'll see you tomorrow at our regular time, 8 p.m. Central Standard United States time um, for our next masterpiece, y'all. We have some new stuff we want to try out, so make sure you tune in. Also, almost done sending out orders and answering emails. What? That's what we've been doing all day. Jeff has been a super trooper about helping me out with packaging these rounds because they are not easy. Anyways, we'll see y'all manana. Bye. I said bye.